thing. That was just to knock off the, um, the texture side. Because um, with the foams you buy from the normal store, you get a smooth side and you get a texture side. And that texture side has been heat pressed. So it really seals that side good. Um, problem with that is when you're trying to glue stuff together and you want a real strong bond, you want the glue to be able to seep you know, into the foam and bite into the foam, you need to sand down that side. Um, now I do have some foam by TNT cosplay.com and with their foam it's smooth on both sides. Love that stuff. Plus it comes with longer sheets too. So if you're gonna do like a sword or something, I will highly recommend getting foam from them doing it because it's gonna save you time from having to glue together sheets of foam to get the length of these. In case you're wondering, this foam, if you put down just a little like a dot or a thin line of this stuff, it sets in about 15 seconds. Unless you use Instacure on it, use Instacure on it, like two seconds. <laughs> and it sets. Yeah, I'm not too worried about you know the edges coming up kind of rough like that because I'm going to be hitting that the entire thing with the Dremel and I'm going to be doubling it. It's going to have a curve because you know it's like a human glove, just really big. So I'm going to make sure that everything looks just right. This is such an important step when you're assembling your phone together. You know, taking those extra few steps or minutes just to make sure that that scene is, is, is as good as it can possibly be because that saves you from having to use fillers like, like that to fill it, clock it, you know, smooth it down. Uh, it's, a, it, it's a good thing to use if you have to. But if you can be careful enough in the early steps to avoid that whole step, the whole process, it does save you a lot of time. Don't forget guys, I still got my um, Dragonfly on Dagger raffle. So you want to definitely make sure that you are engaging uh, in chat, um, doing the, uh, the Dragon Hunts, doing the Drag Races, all that good stuff. Doing the arena matches. That way you um, amass your um, your points because you're gonna need them for the raffle. You got the five on the channel, and you need 300 uh, Dragon Ball, which is my internal currency, uh, for every ticket, every one ticket, um, to be able to win the dagger. And I'm building a custom made dagger. Um, let me show you guys some of it already.
This is the handle, the hilt part, as you can see, a nice little dragon head. And this is all EVA foam. Bring it up to the hand so you guys can see a little bit better, but it's all carved on EVA foam. So it's nice and light. Then just here is the actual bottom part, the blade end. This will sit like this on it. And I'm really considering uh, light develop. I'm gonna put a lens right here, like a big oval, put a lens right there, and I'm thinking about light lightning about them. So I've already hollowed this out so a battery pack can fit in here to power the light if I do that. But this is going to be one of a kind. I will sign this myself. So if one person in the world will have it. Even I will have a copy of it. So with this here, this is going to be the winning prize for the raffle that I do. And all the winner has to do is pay shipping and handling. And I'm going to ship this to them anywhere in the world. So you'll have a dagger that's worth about 150 bucks for just shipping and handling. Not a bad deal. <laughs> I haven't got to see this yet either. When I get done with that dagger, it's not going to look like foam at all. <laughs> Has nice texture already on it. Um, but yeah, I, on the blade edge, I use smooth cast, which is going to help give it a nice little shine. Uh, when I paint the bad boy, it's going to be awesome. Right? I'm not, I'm not going to want to see it go. <laughs> you know, but yeah, yeah. I even have. Um, Rooted writing that I engraved on both sides of this. But yeah, uh, I plan on uh, when I get done with Calabrito, I'm gonna get back on the dagger and finishing it up so I can have that giveaway um, happen for you guys. You guys want to ask me a question? Make sure you all uh, put my name, Da Vinci, in it so it'll light up. I'll be able to see if the question and answer it, you know, in a timely manner, timely fashion.
Did you read call three times? <laughs> One second, guys. section and I know from last time I'm going to have to do a cut an angled cut into the foam which is all good piece here is a little bit short so I'm going to get a piece of scrap and we'll cut this piece I do screws. have one that's magnetized. Oh, you do? Um, I keep dropping the screws. Uh, I think this one is. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little bit lighter, too. Mm -hmm. It's good to have multiple tools. <laughs> it's really good to have multiple tools. Alright, that's better. Okay. Once again, we will cut in here. So we'll go ahead and get that out the way now. How you doing, hon? Abel? Meet my love. 